Yeah, like I said, I don't have nothing against Mike Savage, you know. What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking, everybody? I'd like to give a shout out to everybody that's been supporting this journey. To all my great peoples out there that can see between the smoke and mirrors and everything. Now, look, this video is very interesting. You know, I was on Instagram. You know, I follow uh, Ink Man, Mondo, uh, one of the original uh, members that used to be over there with Strength Cartel, right? I'm going through his story, and I noticed he on Instagram punching the hell out someone. And then when it slowed it down, the person he punching they not getting no hits in. So I'm looking more and more. I'm like, oh, that's Savage. He's still with on screen cartel. So I guess whatever is going on over there, they now trying to send torpedoes out or whatever. <laughs> so I guess Big Boy put it on his Facebook page and trying to make it seem like Ink Man got beat up. When in reality, he should have never put that up because Ink Man showing you videos. He got big swollen knuckles, no scrapes, no marks, no bruises, nothing on his face, on his neck, nowhere. And I didn't even know he was hitting him that hard until I watched another story and seeing how puffy his hands were. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, that fool hitting him hard as hell. And is headshots. This is the thing. They making Strength Cartel into a, a San Clemente gang, a Irvine Orange County gang. That's what it's like. They trying to portray it. They on some 6 9 bullshit. Because what is it? What is the whole reason to be getting down with somebody you're supposed to be cool with? Because last time I checked, Mondo was really cool with Savage and I'm talking about like I just seen Mondo at the expo and he didn't say nothing about having no issue with anyone so since Mondo is a really friend of mine it's a good one I reach out to him and he's just like me he didn't know they had problems he thought that it was whatever issue wasn't no issue but one thing I respect about him is he didn't even speak on nothing or post nothing until Big Boy put that shit on his Facebook page. I guess thought he was going to clown Mondo, but in reality, he only clowned the fool that's supposed to be doing all this fighting. He's supposed to be a boxer or him and anybody. He's supposed to do something where technicality fighting is involved. And that's what I tell you dudes. Just because a motherfucker can punch a punching bag mitts swing at the ear and all of this don't mean that they can fight because when you get into a real fight all that technical bull crap that you think you know you're gonna forget about all that shit it's gonna go out the window you're gonna forget about all that none of that's gonna matter you're gonna gas out so fast from your adrenaline being up you're gonna be gassed out within 27 seconds right I me mean, i've been doing it for a long time i got beat up a lot I beat up a lot. It's always on site with whoever it is I got down with until we just come up with a mutual common ground that is for sure over. And that's just what it is. And the statum is up there. An the average person that's doing all this, they don't have a statum. You know, because that's the thing. If you're trying to make that like it's a game, you don't have enough numbers. All this putting out apparels with K's in front of, the, uh, behind the LA and all that, disrespecting the whole culture of not just the black community, the Hispanic community, the LA County Hispanic communities, the Tongans, the Samoans, the Armenians, the Asians, everybody that's really living that street life and lived it and made it through it and still lost a lot of peoples in it is disrespectful to all of us. So it's bigger than Mack Truck. My ears get blown up every day behind that crap. You know, but this is what lets you know that they don't really know what they doing, like I said.
because if they did, they know you can't put K's by nothing because every hat has a meaning and a consequence behind it. Every hat does. That's just like my MT hats. I got tired of rocking LA hats, so I made an MT hat that in multiple colors that's safe for everyone that support Mack truck. Because if a person was wearing a red LA hat, you could get associated with the Bloods. Person wearing a blue LA hat, you get associated with the Crips. But when you're really from the streets and you're really out there, a Crip could wear a red LA hat and it's respected because we already know who is who. We could tell them with the walk, the lingo and everything. So you have Bloods wearing more blue now and you have Crips wearing more red. It's because we doing the opposite that what we was raised up to do that the first generation done. I'm a second generation. So, and when I came in, it wasn't no wearing British Nikes, BKs and shit like that. Niggas was getting their life taken behind British Nike tennis shoes. Niggas was getting they, they, they life taken away with wearing the belts that slide in the dickies, the buckles with the letters and shit on the buckles. You got these dudes ain't even dressing properly with this stuff. We don't wear that stuff no, no more. We wear dicky and khakis to funerals, hood functions, that that's about it we wear jeans we pull out the dickies and all of that in the 501s attire when it's hood shit really hood shit but the bnm expos that ain't nothing but five percent nutrition over there and we seen what happened with five percent nutrition the big macho that talked all that talk and all that you just pop them a little bit in the mouth they get off but he got off balance didn't record for two months then all of the dirt start coming and surfacing. If you wasn't game banging in elementary and junior high and high school, why portray it once you're in your 30s? You look goofy. You look goofy as shit. Because anybody that made it through their 20s and hit their 30s, trust me, they is not trying to be active game bangers. They are trying to transition into a game member. There's levels to it. It's protocols to this stuff. And those dudes is breaking all the laws to the protocols. I don't have just one culture that I deal with, you know, or that's hitting me up behind stuff. Like the real essay is like, what this fool got chunglos on the shirt for? I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey, homie, I don't know, you know, but that's the difference between level ones, threes, fours, and fives. When they really up in those levels, you don't hear them coming out glorifying that crap. You do not. There is nobody in my family or my small circle of friends I grew up with hit a damn level one yard. Didn't have the luxury of doing petty crimes and getting locked up. It was always something dumb or something that counted. But when you sitting there trying to make that look like it's a gain and posting two homies getting down those are two homies at the end of the day savage and ink man they still homies at the end of the day and you post them getting down trying to embarrass one and you wind up embarrassing the one in your company that's bad business that's bad business that is bad business because it's out there you know you're not supposed to be posting homies getting down like that that's like when they posted Crip Mac getting DP. That's why in their hood, they had a lot of blowback behind that. You're not supposed to post homies getting down. That's what lets you know these dudes ain't really what it is. I'm tired of y'all getting in my comments. I'm like, oh, you won't get down with big boy. I get down with anybody. I don't care about that stuff. I don't. But the thing is, what I'm getting down for to suit y'all preference, to prove something to y'all. I know already he ain't about that. He ain't in that lifestyle because he breaking all the protocols. He's breaking all the protocols. All the politics he don't know. Like that's Takashi 6 9 period. You know, and it's goofy, it's weak because they making it to where the youth gonna think it's cool to glorify this gangbanging shit. What gain is in San Clemente, Orange County? 
what gang, what danger is out there? Tax fraud, tax evasion, what gain is out there? If you ain't graduate gang banging or dropped out of school gang banging, why is you trying to do it now that you grown grown? It makes no sense. You graduating with lays around your neck, Hawaiian shit. You ain't graduating with blue rags in that left pocket, red rags in that right pocket, black rags, trying to walk across the field. <laughs> you ain't doing none of that and you ain't did none of that. Why portray it to the youth and send wrong messages? Y'all say Mack Truck hating. From what? Y'all say Mack Truck cloud chasing. I am the clout. I am exactly what they trying to portray. I let none of my homeboys come to them events. None of them ever. Because they will become liabilities. Because anything that they sense weak, they gonna be only like piranhas. And that's gonna blow back on me. The homies that I did let come through, they know the game. They with the bull crap, but they know we gotta respect the brand. The homie is a brand the homie put on. My homies tell me all the time, I'm the bragging rights for the hoods because I really represent this getting it from the backyard, lifting weights to on the actual stage, being a professional with it. I represent my culture of all ethnicities. I ain't just representing for the uh for the blacks. I'm representing for the blacks, the browns, the yellows, whatever color you want to name it. I'm representing for all of them. You know, the only thing that I never liked that we didn't like in our community is when we go down together, we got to separate inside there because you got to follow the politics and the protocols. But when you get back out, you could be back good. You know, I'm a south side, low bottom ass nigga. Y'all don't hear me all bragging and gloating about where I'm from. A lot of y'all always be like, Mac, where you from? It doesn't matter. It does not matter. If you got to ask me where I'm from, I'm doing a good job by not glorifying it. I'm doing a wonderful job at it. So the youth that's out there, if y'all paying attention to that stuff and y'all think this stuff is cool, it's not cool. Anybody that really made it through it, they is not fit to be in their 30s and 40s glorifying this gang shit with khakis and whacking out shit, putting K's on no hats. You don't put K's on hats. That's a no-no. That's what lets you know they don't know this. They don't know this. And anybody that's supporting and rocking it with that, that's what let me know they ain't with nothing either. They ain't with the bullshit. They ain't nothing but henchmen. They ain't nothing but henchmen. They going along with it. They 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 want to go along with it. Look at Takashi 6 9 He got involved with some real ass gangsters. They tied his ass up. Was talking about kidnapping his mama, fucking his baby mama and all this stuff. You know, it's a lot coming with this gang shit. Because once they know you ain't what you are, you get exposed and mom just start extorting you and pressing you. You know, yeah, I got a motorcycle club, but my motorcycle club is filled up with gang members. Gang members. And we put our game before the club when it comes down to it. But when we wearing them colors, we ain't jeopardizing them colors behind some gang shit. You politely take your colors off, put them in your saddlebags, and you handle your candle. That's how it goes. But since we know we lost a lot, because you lose on both sides, we don't glorify that joint, that junk at all. At all. So the message to this video is, pick your role models wisely. Don't ever record the homies getting down and posting it. Cause that's a no-no. You never post homies getting down because you're sending wrong messages. Cause Savage and Ink Man are still homies. The end of the day, they got down like homies supposed to. They walked out there, did it by themselves. Whoever recorded it, it was some randoms. Nine times out of ten, they did it like it's supposed to go. It's just you got a fucking fool posting it, gloating about it, thinking that that's cool. That's not following the protocol. That's not following the politics of this street shit if you say you're street. But you exposing yourself every time that you're not really street. Anyway, it's the people's champ giving it to you. Gun barrel straight, raw and uncut, no filter. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just post a little bit of Ink Man on how you feel about it. The actual fight. If you want to see that, 
Y'all gotta dig that up yourself. Cause I'm not finna post two homies getting down because my platform is a little bigger to where it'd be a little bit too more too much more people seeing that. Because I'm not finna stir up the pot between the two. All I know is it didn't go into one guy favor. Somebody gonna always lose. So next time, smell y'all later. Yeah, like I said, I don't have nothing against Mike Savage, you know. Uh, it was some pretty dumb shit what happened. Um, I don't even know why it got to that point, but it did. And uh, as you can see, my knuckles are fucking swollen. My knuckles are pretty much fucking busted, bruised thumb, you know. You don't get that by hitting the air, so. It is what it is. You guys want to see a fucking half-assed video and think what you want to think, think what you want to think. Um, this is how people get hurt. And big boy over here staring up the pot, you know, not getting his hands dirty or nothing like that. That's funny. Fucking supposed to be an influencer. Wants to post his fucking awesome dad and all that stuff. Come on, grow up, man. Shit. You're making money. Everybody's out here trying to make money and get past this shit. But people are fucking dumb are going to fall into this shit and stir the pot up. But whatever it is, it is what it is. You know, I'm still gonna do me. So now I'm gonna do a little slowdown of the videos and see, let you guys see a little fucking, couple fucking, you know, hits that I landed since he slowed it down and made it look like I got fucking my ass with or whatever. But, you know, it is what it is. So here you go.